It looks like a f pig snout. You're a scumbag. <laughs> so let's move on. It is helmet mauve, isn't it? The colour of this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Car Throttle. My name is Alex. I'm Jack. I'm Ethan. And today we're going to do another Roast My Ride. We're going to roast your rides because your rides are shit. Have you done the list again? Because they're probably not shit. They're probably like, all right. No, there's, there's, there's some really shocking ones in there. Shall we start with a Chevrolet Caprice, which has been submitted by Belgian Cars. All the Belgian cars submitted this. They all got together and they put forward their best. I chose a lazy 80 small block V8 5.7 litre boat of a car floating over the roads as long as it doesn't need to turn. <laughs> it has a few rust spots. Love these Roast My Ride episodes. Take care. I think it's gangster. I really dig it. Is that our irony if you think it's gangster but it's a police car? If it didn't have the police stuff on it, would you drive it? Oh no, it'd be shit. <laughs> Is this illegal? I think it's illegal if you go around pulling people over. I mean, surely no one's going to be thinking you're the actual police <laughs> rolling around like Brussels in that. I don't know, it depends how drunk you are when you're driving. <laughs> anyway, cool car. Thanks very much. Let us move it on to... Oh, <laughs> sake. I'm just going to cover it. Um, Ethan, can you talk us through? Oh, God. This is a Mark III Scirocco TDI Stage 3 submitted by Ryan Doyle. Hi guys, big fan of the channel. This is my 2010 Mark III Scirocco. I bought the car last year and since then it's had a bigger turbo, straight pipe, racing line cold feed intake, body kit, colour change, etc. Very Marmite, but I want honest opinions. Stay safe, Ryan. <sighs> He's got the 3D gel number plate that you oh, like. Oh no. Hell man. <laughs> He's really, really treading a very fine line there between being acceptable and just being an absolute I feel like he's not done and he's gonna make it worse. It's a lovely sunset though. It is. It is very nice. Yeah. Can we um can we get rid of the Scirocco just to and appreciate that? Oh landscape? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do that again. Let's have a quick look at the picture without the car. Oh, oh, that's much better. That's, that's really nice. nice. Oh, Ryan Doyle, thank you very much yeah. for submitting that wonderful photo. Ooh. Ooh. We have a Suzuki Swift Sport from Kim Sandstead. And this is my 2018 Suzuki Swift Sport. Let me know what you guys think about it. Cheers. I think it works. I quite like it. I agree. And the colour contrast as well between the... Um, the yellow and the white of the wheels. Actually, I like the white wheels. Usually I hate white wheels. He's also got spotlights. I mean, you take all this stuff away and you've just got a really shitty Suzuki Swift Sport. But these like really subtle mods have, uh, have made a very good impact on it. So well done, Kim Sandstead. Ethan, you're being very quiet. I don't hate it, but I certainly don't love it. He's got a nice little sunset going as well, though. Yeah, yeah not does. quite it's, as it's... good. We'll leave the car in this one. Oh, oh, hello. Look at this. Ethan, because you love these cars so much, I'm going to let you read this one out. You're welcome. Um, 328i Coupe from Hannes, 1997, Bilstein B40 coilovers, he's put an M50 intake manifold, racing camshaft, E46 3.0 crankshaft, oh. uh, 269 on the dyno. Yeah! Cool. Alright, uh, what's next? No, this is so good. If I could have another one, I'd have it like this. This is, this is done really well. Do you know what, I'm going to have to disagree with you. What? I really like the car. Don't like the wheels. The oh, dish for yes. me Thank you. is too much on mm. the front and the rear. It's too low for me. And it's not It's not as functional as I'd like it to be. Stupid Sunstrip stickers. Uh, he's put his number plate in the front windscreen because he's probably an If you just pared it back a little bit, get rid of the M3 mirrors as well. They don't belong there. At the moment, it's just, nah, it's just, nah. I agree where you're coming from. The wheels though, although like they might not be to your like style or taste, they're good quality wheels. Do you know what I mean? It's done well. Ethan, any more to say? Nope. Okay. Moving on. Ooh. Oh no. Oh my God. Volvo C30, submitted by Luke Morris. This is my late Volvo C30, was fully stripped out, bucket good. seats, harnesses, rear sub, built with harness bar, full wire design conversion on Focus RS rims and Nankang NS2R tires with a 1.6 D2 engine running 160 brake horsepower, full straight through, turbo back exhaust, cold air intake, EGR blank, and other supporting mods, blah, blah, blah. Isn't as bad as the other C30 that was on there. We'll be the judge of that. 
Sadly, yeah. it's met its fate on the back roads in the wet <laughs> and aquavated into a tree. Now I drive a 400 quid Punto that I'm getting built for next year. I love how the car aquaplaned. He didn't, he didn't no, have anything to do with that aquaplaning. I mean, it's not as bad as the C30. He is right. The other C30 was just <laughs> diabolical. Oh, he's giving this... it a bloody good go though. Oh, he really has. He just <laughs> didn't have the money to execute it properly. <laughs> Big subwoofer in the back. Which is off know. centre and really pissing me yeah, off. Yeah, that's really annoying. It looks like a f pig snout. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it really does. I think my favourite picture is a crash picture. <laughs> I think it looks best there. One thing though, which I'm very impressed, he doesn't have the 3 or 4D gel number plate. He was on his way to pick them up and then aquaplaned off the road. <laughs> yeah, suddenly there was a massive puddle when I was doing 100, uh, 40 miles an hour. <laughs> There's an act of God, that's called. <laughs> These poor C30s in Chiracos, just leave them alone. Oh, oh, wow. Ooh. Oof. Saab 9.3, Oliver Baricevic. Hello guys, here's my Saab 9.3 that I think you won't actually hate. It's not super low, it's drivable with expensive coilovers on it, so it's not such a hard ride as you might think. It's a twin turbo diesel 1.9 liter engine with an automatic gearbox with a new tune, EGR delete and DPF delete. I now have around 260 and over 500 newton Nice. It does around 50 mpg, so I think it's perfect. Roast on guys, Oliver. It is really, really cool. It is, it's like yours, but cool, Jack. Mine's on the way to this. I didn't, I didn't have anything to do with it, but it's getting there. The wheels are cool, the fitment is great. I would urge anyone who wants a cool daily driver to get something like this, except for Jack's, because something's not right with it. It is dog shit slow, isn't it? Something's up with it, we need to investigate. Right. Wait a minute, do I care? It was 500 quid. No. Do you know what's great about this? 260 horsepower, and 50 miles per gallon. Two numbers that, that shouldn't is. go next to each other, but yet here they are. I don't think it's that cool. I think it's it's like it's cool, but it's like again, it's just it's just it's just fine. Oh, an Audi A1 competition line Harrison Forbes air ride with a set of WCI wheels and a custom exhaust system. It's a work in progress, but it's getting there. Hope you like it. Stay safe. He's got those wheels. Harrison, I, I don't like anything about it. The red at the bottom just looks tacky. All your stickering Audi Sport and nah, the, nah. The man. thing is though, you need it on air ride because lots of Halfords and McDonald's car parks have speed bumps. True. Also, um, um, yeah, red and orange, the, the two colours that famously go so well together. Have you read what this rear sticker says? It says no. arch gap is like a vagina. Oh, for sake. Just shut up, shut up. Oh God, that's really bad. That's tipped over into <laughs> you territory now. Yeah. You're a scumbag. <laughs> so let's move on. Please. We have got from Ollie Holmes, a drift trike. Ooh, <laughs> wow, are we, wow. This is my custom built drift trike made by me and my dad as a lockdown project inspired by Colin Furs. It has 110 CC four stroke quad engine, custom, Akropov shit exhaust. <laughs> Jet cart wheels, four spoke mag BMX wheel, seal BMX bars, seal BMX stem, Ferguson tractor seat, and wow. a custom hobgoblin beer keg fuel tank. I know it's strange, so roads to get should be easy. It is really cool. Also, I've seen this project before, the Colin Furs one, and I've always wanted to do it. I'm so glad to see someone that's gone and actually built it. And building it with your old man, that's got to have been so much fun as well. <laughs> I like the thought of them just all walking around the house and garden looking for objects to build it and play around that beer keg can. Ah, uh, yeah, fuel tank? Yeah, 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 yeah for yeah. sure, fuel tank. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, I need you to finish this entire keg of hog gob. <laughs> it looks very, very well built, and it looks like a hell of a lot of fun. So, uh, fair play, Ollie Holmes and your dad for building such a cool thing. I don't think any of us can roast it, because we all think it's really wicked, and we want to have a go, don't we? Yeah, 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 definitely. Now we have a Mitsubishi Eclipse RS by Alex Gazana. I've been following the channel for years, and I love it. Very entertaining, and can always get some great laughs out of you guys. I went to the dark side of DSM and completely rebuilt and turbocharged it. Currently finishing the build, and then off to get a proper tune. I hope you guys enjoy it, and look forward to hearing the roasts. With best regards, Alex. Well, I'm going to guess that, Alex, you don't like this. I don't like this. Yeah, because it's Japanese and not German. It's just boring. Yeah. It's just a boring shape. I bet if that badge just had a BMW badge, oh, you'd be like, yeah. oh, look wow. at this. What does DSM mean? Fuck. Mother. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, are you serious? Oh. 
So this is a BMW E30 by Robert Newton. Hi everyone, this is my first car, which is a 1988 oh. BMW 316. He has an M10 engine, which is just shy of 100 brake horsepower. Not fast, but definitely fun to drive and a great first car. A round of applause for this guy, first car. E30. Yeah, fair play. Fair play, Robert Newton. We bow down to you. Also, a um, little bit worrying, you said, um, if you are wondering, it cost me under 6K. I would have hoped that would have cost you under 3K. No, I don't think so. It's a coupe that looks really clean. For, for a 1.6 though, M10. I think any engine size now, it sort of like doesn't really matter so long as it's clean. Does look really, really yeah. good. And it's, it's great. I mean, fair play. Quite brave, haven't you, to, to have a E30 as your first car and daily it. Robert Newton, big thumbs up from Jack and I. Shall we move on? Yes. Uh, Ethan, go for it. This is cool. Yeah. This is submitted by Baja Summit. Oh, it's you a got Toyota it right. Land. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Toyota Land Cruiser. Hey guys, please roast my 1991 Toyota Land Cruiser. Can't. Here in the US, we got stuck with the automatic gasoline cruiser, so no fun there. But where I do have fun is on the trails, as it sits right now. It has a two-inch old man emu lift, 33-inch tires sleet off-road rear bumper and a trail gear front pre-runner bumper Ooh. while it sure isn't a looker it is a doer the <laughs> right uh, alex is nodding he, he's familiar with that <laughs> <laughs> look at that that is cool that's getting me going that's giving me ideas yeah. for the vitara as well look at it squirming up that bit it's just Ooh. going in every direction yeah you just point it at something it's just gonna go it's like, <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Jack, you're being very quiet. I'm not really big on these 4x4s stuff, am I? I, I, I doesn't get my pickle tickling. Like, it's not really. Really? Yeah. Look at the rake on it, though. Like, the rake's crazy. Oh, I was looking for an actual garden rake on the car. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's move it on. What have we got? Oh, <laughs> hell, man. <laughs> Bro, I'll get through this quickly. Mark II Clio, Callum Connolly. Blah, blah, blah. Majority of the car is parts I've made myself or work I've done myself. It's French, it's a Clio, it's pink, it's on air, and the wheels are reps. Fire away. P.S. The Mini is my brother's at Connor Brownie on Insta. I'm going to give your brother a shout out, not you. The thing I hate most about it is everything. <laughs> the thing is, um, we're going to put this car as the thumbnail for this video. And basically that means that's going to be our least favourite car. I mean, from the front, it looks disgusting until you look at the back and you realise he's really, really f***ed it. Stupid diffuser, stupid exhaust. What, what is up with those lights? Smoothed at the back. It looks like a Clio Campus, if anyone knows what a Clio Campus is. Stupid camber. Look at the size of the sunstrip. It's it is helmet mauve, isn't it? The colour of this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even the people who are standing next to it don't want to look at it, I'm so shit. Yeah, they like your brother's car. Yeah, exactly. yeah that says it all. <laughs> yeah. Try and be more like your brother because your parents are currently very disappointed with you. Right then, next car on the list is our Toyota MR2 AW11. Ethan, you want to read this one out? Yeah, this is from Hector Benito Diaz. 2.5 inch exhaust, a cold air intake, BC racing coilovers, and some 15 inch Cansey wheels. It's such think a good looking car. Really? Yeah, that's so you cool. You like this? Yeah, this I really like you. it. Yeah, yeah. I quite liked that uh, RX-7 in the last one, but I'm not so keen on the rear, but this one. Oh! What do you think of the engine placement, Ethan? Very good. I, lo I like it when it's sort of sort of in the middle, sort of mid-ship type engine. <laughs> oh, oh. Can't, can't get one over you, can we? <laughs> you have to get that pretty early. <laughs> <laughs> this is the car that all MX-5 owners should have bought. Oh, shut up. Do you know how expensive these are? Yeah, they're well expensive now. Do you kind of wish you'd got one of these instead of your Z3, Ethan? Nah. Oh, so you like BMWs now, do you? Z3s, yeah. Anyway, what are we saying about the MR2? We all like it, right? Yeah, yeah can't really say anything bad about it. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. We have, shall I take this one? We got a Suzuki Jimny. Yeah. by Felix Morgan. Came with most of the upgrades you see here on it. 33 inch tires, snorkel, lift kit, and other bits and bobs since owning it. I've replaced the suspension and fitted a new rear axle. I've got big plans for it in the future, e.g. engine swap and maybe a winch. 
thanks, Ooh. Felix. It's like Jack's toilet on a Saturday morning. Yeah, that's about <laughs> 20 minutes after I've woken up and had a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've told you guys, I love a Suzuki Jimny. No, you haven't actually. I don't think I've heard you say that. I really do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vitara is like a cheap man's Jimny at the moment. <laughs> it is really cool. It's just this little powerful nugget that's ready to go out there and get covered in shit. I don't think we can roast it. I think we can just love it and appreciate it for mm. what it is, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Next car. Ooh. Go on, go on, Jack. What we got? Uh, this is my Mark 1 MX-5, submitted by, and it actually says here, pronounced Alicia. Hi, guys. Thought I'd let you roast my little piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Good start, solid. We're all on the same page. Small list of mods are as follows. A K&N carbon air filter, KBD polyurethane body kit. Oh, they're the ones that are like a welly boot, aren't they? Coilovers, raised Volks monsters, three piece wheels from Japan, only set of 16 in the UK. Sequential indicators, front and rear, pinstripe on the tail lights, window tints, front and rear, custom Japanese anime door cards, which are terrible, oh. so redoing. Stickers and decals, S2000 seats, doubled in radio, sunstrip, girl gear stick, spray painted in midnight purple. I own a Mark One, basically the ug uglier version of the feel. Do your worst, Correct. it's not finished yet. There's only two things I like about it. The ride height and the seats. I do like the color. Yeah, the colors. I'm quite, because I was telling you guys about maybe doing that for the Z3 the other day. And I quite like that. I hate the pinstripes on the lights. Um, you need to have a spoiler on there because it looks shit. Uh, what? The sunstrip. What are you? What? It needs a spoiler on there. Yeah. It no. looks shit without a spoiler. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, Mark yeah, ones yeah. look way better without spoilers. I would probably rather drive this mm. than Phil. No, yeah. you wouldn't. I like the styling better. I like the styling better, yeah. No, you don't. Really? I do. I really do, yeah. Except no. for the wheels, I'd agree. Yeah. Shut up. What? Are you are you both out of your mind? Are you doing this to wind me up? No, no I'm being I'm being a hundred percent sincere and honest here. In your heart, you're lying. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, off. Let's just do it quickly because uh, I'm feeling A3, angry. A three bagged on a set of fifteen fifty tarmax with loads of stretch straight through exhaust. Yes, it makes that annoying boo sound with a hybrid turbo. Do your worst. Shit, shit wheels, shit ride height. Looks like those wheels are popping out of the tire. Guys, this man is clearly a pioneer. He's put bags on a Volkswagen Audi Group car. <laughs> Who's done that before? Yeah. No yeah, one's yeah. ever done this before. No. I mean, just with a few mods, this could be quite a nice car. Lift it, take, take the sunstrip off and it'll be nice. Yeah, this, this is a bit of us, isn't it? Honda oh. Civic pickup. Jeffrey Hummel. It's got a fully welded metal bed with plexiglass window and a custom space paint job with integrated damage done by us. The interior has been prepped for low performance driving with bucket seats and harnesses so that we can properly utilize the hot air intake and custom glass <laughs> pack exhaust to annoy other drivers. I do like it, but it's just, just pulled his boot off. Half assed job, but it screams car throttle. So welcome to the club. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to our last car, which is... Whoa. Ooh, a Lada 1200 submitted by Vladimir. Hey guys, greetings from the Ukraine. This is my 1972 Lada 1200S. It's Soviet remake of the classic Fiat 124. It got some classic 70s rims from a Mini. I borrowed Datsun's 70s race livery and made my Lada look like some sort of race car. It still has its 1.2 litre engine and it isn't really fast. Stay safe guys, Vladimir. And this is the first one that's actually put some sort of stickers that don't look horrendous and sort of make sense and it also goes to show that the color of stickers matters so much they haven't just gone and got some vinyl and gone out to their car at night and just done a design on their car whatever they think is going to look good this has got some thought behind it it's nice something about a larder isn't there something about them I can't oh, it's quite... so mysterious and exotic yeah, isn't it got... yeah it is yeah it's just like <laughs> When you think <laughs> exotic like thoughts, what is the lard that just pops into your head? He's even got the um, those louvres on the rear window, which looks really yeah. cool. Clearly a man of taste and courage as well. <laughs> Unlike the guy with the Clio. Should we call it there? Yeah. Okay. Well, mm. um, yeah, as ever, thank you everyone for submitting your cards. One more thing before we go. You might see I'm wearing a really cool t-shirt. Sold! You can buy these on the Car Throttle shop as well as more designs as well. So go check it out. Any final words, Ethan and Jack? Uh, I just want to say thanks Ooh. to everyone submitting cars. Uh, it's really Ooh. great to see all your whips and uh, keep sending them in. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more episodes, then make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. 
and check out more videos over there. Have a great week. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye now. Not Bye you, now. Clear Guy. F*** you. <laughs>